Facebook, it's your friendly nosy neighbor, Jessica Carden. And we are back here again, downtown. You know we love downtown. And we are visiting uh, another great local business. Thank you for joining us today. If you love local businesses and events, please make sure to like and follow our page um, and support the local businesses that we show here because that's what it's all about is helping these businesses get the word out and get more customers and you getting to have an amazing local uh, business uh, experience. Also, if you love real estate, we do this because we um, sell real estate at the Murdoch Manoring Company and we don't charge any of our businesses anything to do with their videos because we make our money in real estate. So if we can help you sell or buy a home, we'd love to do that. It's a great time in real estate. Contact us and we will tell you all about it. We are downtown on Park Avenue. So Park Avenue, we're almost at the corner of A Street. We're between A and B. You're gonna see us on Park and Ab Avenue. There's Center Theater, which we love, the Downtown Event Center. There's the Snake Bite. We're right next to Pandora's Bobbles and Beads, right across from Marcellers. I've, we've done a lot of nosy neighbors down here. I love this. We are down here because we're gonna to talk to you about a business <clears throat> that's been here a long time, but there's been a name change. And so there's some new things going on with the Handmade Idaho Shop. Previously, Nostalgic Boutique. So this is a really cool business that's been around forever. And if you've ever been into Nostalgic Boutique, you'll know there's am there was amazing clothes. Well, they've kind of come up with a new concept and taken that to the next level. And let's go in and talk to them and just find out a little bit more. So you can already see as we're walking in some amazing things in the windows. You're going to find some really neat Idaho based products in this store. Well, hello. I'm social distancing everybody so that you guys can hear us without the masks. We're the nosy neighbors. Can we ask some questions about the handmade Idaho shop? I would love it if you would ask some questions. We are trying to spread the word. I'm Hannah. Perfect, Hannah. So tell us who you are, Hannah. Um, my name is Hannah Trost. I'm the owner of the Handmade Idaho Shop. It's a vision I had for a little while. Some of you may have heard of The Collective. I really liked that shop, and so when they shut down, I felt we were lacking a place where you could get local handmade goods. We have the farmer's market and we have various markets, but someplace more permanent where you could come year round, really. Yeah. So yeah. So I'm one of the artists here too. All the artists are local. They all are from Southeast Idaho and uh, it's all handmade in here. There's nothing that's ordered in. How long have you guys been here? So this was previously Nostalgic Boutique. How did that change over? How did that work? So I was actually um, in the store with my jewelry business um, called Silver Serpent Studio. And I was in the store when it was a Nostalgic Boutique, but that was primarily a clothing boutique. And the owner decided it was time for change, time to retire, move on, play with grandkids. So uh, the place came up as available, and it had been, like I was saying, it was kind of a, I had a vision, I just didn't know if it would happen. Mm -hmm. While well, the location's good, the rent is good, the building owners are good, um, it just all fell into place. And so there was about six of us uh, local artists in with the boutique, and we've grown it. Uh, I've changed it a little bit more into an artist co-op. Oh, so wow. there's the artists, many of the artists in here, you'll actually see them um, checking people out, manning the store. We volunteer and we share the time, so then we all have time to create and we have time to also run the shop and keep it open for everybody. That is a great combination, because that is a heart as a small local artist mm -hmm. to be able to have a place and be able to do that. That's always a cost effect of trying to maintain a spot. Is, is a lot, your most expensive thing, usually. Yes. So how do they find out more about the shop and the artists and the inventory? Is there any, do you guys do a website? Are you Facebook? How, where do they find out more? We have a website that's under construction because okay. many of us artists are procrastinators, but we're trying. Uh -huh. The Facebook page, it's, if you go, um, what is that? At mm -hmm. Handmade ID. You'll find us on there, and it says the Handmade Idaho Shop. Mm -hmm. Nostalgic Boutique is still listed there, mm -hmm. um, so you can still find us kind of affiliated with the old shop. We're trying to change over the names with Facebook Fun. Yes. And uh, but Facebook is the best because we have 28 artisans in here right now. Wow. So if there's something you're interested in, when we do posts and share and show what different people make. Mm -hmm. 
you can contact that artist directly. And wow. the reason, one of the different things I have going on in this shop is we all pay rent, which covers our overhead, mm -hmm. but I do not take any commission. Wow. So I will send you, I will happily send you to the original artist. You can buy from them, you can buy from the shop. Either way, the sales go to the artists. Many of the artists here do custom orders, so that's another reason. If you connect us through Facebook, we're all interconnected there, yes. and we'll help point you to the artist you're looking for. Oh, that is amazing. So can we get a tour? Let's, you bet. Let's take a look at what you you've bet. got. You bet. So let's start, let's start at the beginning and work back, because you said this is you, right? Mm -hmm. Silver Serpent. So yes. you do silver jewelry? I do. I do silversmithing is primarily. I work a little silver bit Silversmithing? Mm -hmm. Wow. What does that mean? So silversmithing... Like I'm thinking of you in the forge. Yes. <laughs> well, some, some people will notice I have a tattoo even. And so this tattoo is actually a hammer, a Look chasing at hammer. That. So as you're talking about, I don't work with hot metal so much as ah. I work with cold techniques. But that still means I still get the torch going, I still make the metal hot, and I flow the solder, and then work on, like, my hammering is with the metals cold. Oh. So it's not, it's a little different than iron work. Interesting, work. interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Some beautiful pieces, and you've got not just silver, but you've got So I've got a little bit of copper in there, and then I've got uh, a little bit of brass, and I do gold on commission. But the silversmithing, what that really means Beautiful. is I take a flat sheet of silver, I cut out the circle, I've patterned it, I have then handmade the setting for this stone. It was not a pre-bought setting. Wow. So I form it to the shape of the stone. So many of my stones are odd shapes. Since I build it, I can set mm -hmm. any shape mm -hmm. and then put the stone in and continue on. Wow. Beautiful. So it's, it's handmade from start to finish. It's that's what the silversmithing does. And you say you do some custom things too. Yes. Like what kind of custom things would you do? I have done custom rings so that they mm. fit the person. Rings mm -hmm. are one of the ones. I have a few in here, but it's one of the ones that you really want to make sure a ring fits. Yeah. I'll do an adjustable ring, but I don't know, there's something about a comfortable ring that yeah. really fits. Yeah, that's uh, neat. I had a gal that came in with five Montana sapphires. She had collected them and had them cut years ago. Mm -hmm. And so I, together, we designed a ring and I set all of them in a ring and gave that to her wow. about a month ago. Wow. And so it's, it's various. Sometimes people have a certain stone. Sometimes they have a stone they found. Sometimes they have something. I had one gal with a ruby ring. Well, she was a nurse. She couldn't wear this ruby ring. It stuck up too high. So I converted it into a pendant. And I actually used the gold from the original ring in the new pendant. Wow. So there's all sorts That's of amazing. different custom. Amazing. I love it. They're beautiful. Beautiful. And so let's keep, I'll let you keep going, taking us through. Yeah. So this, this next gal, she sells under progressive laser engraving. Her name oh. is Renee. She is over in Ammon. Oh, I love this. I love the Idaho. Oh, and the beautiful. Yes. And so some of them you really see in a change yes. of light. Gorgeous. She has these journals. She makes these purses. She cuts out all the parts. And then I watched her hand stitch these purses together because wow. it's, it's a nice quality leather. Yeah, beautiful. Um, she has belts. I mean, this, this Oh, I gal, love this with <laughs> the, so these are laser cut rollers. Do they leave an imprint or is it just for fun? No, it leaves an imprint. Wow. So when you go, I mean, it depends on your dough. You right. do have to have the right, the right, right pastry or dough. But yeah, you roll it along or cutting your cookies or whatever. So. Yeah, yeah. I love she does. That. She does custom work too, and it's just. Well, I love the Idaho. Mm -hmm. I love the Idaho stuff. Yeah. yeah, really neat. Well, we're going past this table. So this table I've reserved for artists that have just come in. So it's ah. kind of like the new table. Ah. So this gal, her name's Star. She's actually a local teacher as well. And so this is someone that you're supporting her and her teaching, but then she has a way to make a little money to help yeah. the kids with extracurricular and things. Wow. And so she has these various, these are my favorite when you have the matching earrings and barrettes yes. together. I love that. Yes. We have several people who are making masks just because of the times if people need masks. Mm -hmm. We have a variety of styles here. Love that. Um, yeah. So there's that. And 
as I, we continue around, there's another gal here. She works under the name Tiny Flame. These candles are soy based and then she puts, um, I haven't actually smelled this one, she puts the essential oils in them. Oh wow. So instead of instead of being overpowering or like some mm. candles are too much for me, mm -hmm. yeah, these me ones too. aren't so much. They're a little lighter ah. scent and they're more clean burning. They're less likely to leave a I'll leave the black or anything. Yep. 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 Oh, so neat. She's, bought in new, she's brought in new um, fall scents that I haven't oh, even checked yeah, out. Yeah, they are amazing. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. So, so now you do have, still have clothes. Oh, yes. and I missed this. This is, you know, I'm yes. a jewelry fanatic, so that always sparkles by jewelry. I love that. Yes. Uh, sparkles by Julie, not jewelry. It's on the brain. It's on the brain. Oh, pretty. Julie is actually one of my long-term friends and we happened to both meet when our kids were little and we ah, happened to both be making jewelry those. and we just connect 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 mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. she makes she makes these small I think they're just delicate beautiful pieces and she does uh, custom like order this, I love this I love my mm -hmm. little basic I love those and she does a one of her big items is a wedding things something blue wedding pieces oh neat mm -hmm. oh beautiful love those Yep. This is Salvation Diets. Her name's Shannon. She does the, she has started sewing a little bit, but for the most part she gets the clothes and then she does these amazing Beautiful. dye patterns. And so the original tie dye is more white mm -hmm. with the color on the front. And mm -hmm. she does that, but what she's really gotten into is what is called reverse dye and so this reverse dye is where you take a black or a colored garment you take out the color some of the color and oh. then you put color back in wow and it's it's quite the process she talked me through a little bit but she would be able to Beautiful. tell you even more but yeah so Beautiful. she has and she'll do custom work too you can't necessarily get an exact pattern but right. you can get kind of a but color you get your blend. colors that you want mm -hmm. oh that's amazing and all of the artists here are here locally in Idaho Falls, or is it in Southeast Idaho? Southeast Idaho. Mm -hmm. I have some artists from Ashton. I had a lady from uh, Tetonia. Uh, we have Ammon, Rexburg. I think there's a gal coming in from Rigby. Mm -hmm. So that's the other thing is I still have a little bit of space, and so I artists was are stay. still coming in, and so we still have new items. Plus, I encourage the artists uh, to bring in their new items, like mm -hmm. if not monthly, then at least quarterly, and mm -hmm. so we can change it up, change things so around. So there's going to be kind of something neat, neat to see all the time. So if, mm -hmm. is there, if there's an artisan who is looking for a place, can they just come in and contact you or contact you through Facebook? Yes. Awesome. Yes. I have a couple interviews set up for later in the week. Got it. Yep. So the, the biggest thing that I'm trying to do is offer variety. Yes. So I do have a number of jewelers, so at the moment I'm not looking for more jewelers mm -hmm. but we don't have glass we only have a little bit of woodworking we mm. just you know there's other things and then there's crafts that I'm like I didn't even think about that mm -hmm. and they come in and show me I had one gal come in I'm hoping she comes in she had these little um, robots and these other garden pieces with her brother ah. and I was just like <laughs> I'll put a big, I'll put a big post, post, you know, if they actually Love come that. out, but yeah. Well, yeah, because now you're looking at it, you're going from soaps. Mm-hmm. So this, this gal does these handmade soaps, and she writes what's in them, and they are also essential oils. And she has, they're really smooth soaps. One of my favorites is this one. It is honey, oatmeal and honey. Oh, and it wow. even has this cute, like little this honeycomb. cute honeycomb pattern yeah. on it. And they're really smooth. And one of the things for as people are considering being uh, more um, ecologically friendly mm -hmm. is she actually has some uh, shampooing and conditioning bars. Oh. So that if you want. Instead of having it in a container. Because mm -hmm. a lot of that is just water. Yeah. So if you're interested in anything like that, she has them and they're, they're nice. Very cool. They're nice. Very cool. Yeah. And a couple of people have things in multiple places. This is another gal. Um, I think she's she's actually got a bit of a following. Some people already have a bit of a following and then ah, come in. Yeah, yeah. And so that's nice. This is Wanda. She does Tattered by Momi. And so she'll take clothes. Sometimes the clothes are vintage. Sometimes they're uh, 
other finds. Mm -hmm. But she does take vintage, like this is vintage lace that she's added to this shirt. Huh. Or like on this one, she's done a t-shirt on it. Neat. And so she's got her fall clothes in now, but she also does skirts and dresses. And she has these jackets down here where she's added, added various wow. embellishments to them. And she generally has things on the front as well as the... That is very cool. That is very trendy. Mm -hmm. Very trendy. Yes. 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 And this are the, this is a family. They're under Naughty Woodworks. And so they're doing, these are all local woods. Like this is Walnut and they've written them on here. Box Elder. So they are wood turning these. And what I think these are pretty neat. Oh, it's a bottle stopper. It's a bottle stopper. Mm -hmm. Really cool. And you and it works great for oils and things as well. Or the way they have this, it's a perfect little display piece. Yeah, it's, it's like beautiful. miniature sculptures. Yeah. Beautiful. I think they're pretty cool. The board is gorgeous. And they have a number of wooden pens. Some of them are very colorful, some of them are more traditional. I know that they also make pens out of antler and they do these bottle stoppers out of antler. They're really pretty. Wow, They're wow. also uh, really popular in Jackson. So that's where they have those, but they'll do mm -hmm. custom orders. One of the things I know they did is there was a gentleman who had a baseball bat because he played baseball. Eventually he broke it. <gasps> they made a bunch of pens out of the baseball bat. Oh, how awesome is that? Yeah. That is really neat. So it's things like that, the custom orders yes. that have this little yes. bit of family pull into them. That is awesome. That's awesome. Yes. So um, this gal, Jennifer Summerlove, she is a local photographer as well. So like this is one of her oh. photos. Love she, that downtown. Mm -hmm. She's done a lot with downtown and downtown businesses. She'll do photo sessions and mm -hmm. things for people. But she also has a passion for vintage clothes. So there's a selection out here and then she we have a space downstairs that we're getting ready for a bigger selection. Because when you're hunting vintage clothes, it's nice to have a selection. Yes. So, that's so when you say vintage clothes, what does that mean to someone who's like, so are you talking about thrift store clothes? How does it be vintage versus thrift store? Well, all of her clothes, she has, why, well, I, I guess, most of them, she has an era on them, uh, and so she's found out where they're from. And she has, she actually travels a lot with her husband, uh, soon to be husband, excuse me. And they, so she's brought clothes in from Europe. So she's wow. got vintage, like 1950s English dresses. She's yeah. got, I know she brought something in from Germany, wow. um, and then for a while there, so she, she does them by decade. So she had like the 60s for a while uh, as her special. And then she went into the 80s. And so she just- Very cool. She goes like that. And so she finds the clothes usually through other people if mm -hmm. there is, um, what do you call it? Um, like estate sales or- uh -huh. Yes, mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. estate sales, yeah. attic finds, yeah. that kind of well, thing. Well, if you've ever lived back east, they're keepers of things and you can probably find yes. some pretty neat things. And yeah. so it's a and vintage and reusing and upcycling. I yeah. mean, that's that's a growing, it it's really a growing is. thing. And it really is. And she has, she uses local gals as her models and her photos and oh, it's so really cool. fun. Really neat. Oh, the, beautiful. Yes. This is the work of Allison Supple, Supple Clayworks. She is, well, again, local. They mm -hmm. all are. She is inspired by the ocean and uh, sea urchin sand dollars. Oh, and yeah. And so her pottery tends to have these uh, spots on them. Mm -hmm. That's just something that... Kind of her signature. Mm -hmm. Well, it's very... I think of it, I think of those, like, kind of looks like a sea urchin, the natural... Really neat. Yes. Yes. Really neat. Beautiful things. And obviously it's not everything, but yeah. it's quite a few of her pieces have that. And then this, this, I love this. So she asked me, I think there needs to be a little sign here, but I like talking to customers too and uh -huh. giving them little facts. So you see the letters uh -huh. in the bowl. When she told me how she made them, I thought it was great. How, what do you think she uses to make those letters? I would think she's just writing them in there, wouldn't it? like in the soft clay. She takes alphabet noodles. 
She'll oh spread out word. her it alphabet does noodles. Look like alphabet noodles. Yep, and she goes, and whatever random words I made up that I pulled together that time goes in there. And what's cool about the kiln, it fires at such a high temperature, is the alphabet noodles just stay there through the firing, and then in the firing they dissipate, and then wow. you're left with these awesome impressions. Ah, look how neat that is. That's really neat. Ooh, I love the sea. I see that that kind of sea. That look beautiful. Really pretty stuff. Really pretty, really pretty stuff. Yes. Awesome. All right. Let's keep moving. Ooh, they're so yes. Pretty. This is a gal named Billy. She is selling under Wrapped in Love. When she first came in, she was doing a lot of these crocheted items. Mm -hmm. So she likes doing matching. So she tends to have a matching hat and gloves or scarf and gloves. And they're super soft, yeah, beautiful, plushy. These are actually yeah. scarves, but it's like you get so cold. It's that you chenille. Might as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. that should beautiful chenille. So she came in with those. This is another of her pieces. Oh, I love that. That she pulled together, uh, and then she brought in this year these wine bottle wind charms, wind chimes. So these. The wine bottles tend to come from Marcellers and Friends, mm -hmm. and so they're reused. And then she has an etching on there. It's easier to see probably in person, but like mm -hmm. this one has a oh, deer. Oh, it has an Idaho and a deer. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yes. And so the the ringer is actually a piece of antler. Oh wow. And then the the pull down here is a slab from the local Rock and Gem Club when they have slabs that are polished. So it's multiple local pieces it's pulled beautiful. in there. So she has these wind chimes and then she has these solar lights. Oh, you can just barely see that. Oh, yeah, they've got the little beautiful little twinkle lights on the inside. So they're solar, you can leave them outside and they light. Mm -hmm. Oh, how neat is that? Or in your windows. Yes, mm -hmm. very cool. Oh, I love those. Yes, love so she has she has a variety of those. This is another family group called Two Hens and a Chick. <laughs> it's two aunts and a, no, it's a, a mother, a daughter, and an aunt. Oh my goodness. So two hens and a chick. That's cute. And so they have, they have clothing. They have adorable, it's a mix of knit and crochet. And since that's not my niche, I can't tell you what is knit and what is crochet. Right. I can just tell you that they're really well made and Beautiful. so cute. My favorite are these horses. Aww. I mean her stitches are like perfect and they're just so cute. So cute. So there's Beautiful. a mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so they have a variety. They have booties and clothing and Look at this. some toys. Amazing. And all handmade. Yes, all handmade. Wow. And a number of these artists, like some are some are retired, some are with families, like I'm with my family when I'm not working. Mm -hmm. Some are still working full time, and so this is something that all of us would have a hard time doing a store on our own. Yes. But together, yeah. together, together we've really made it, amazing. made it work. This gal is Brenda Stewart. She likes using denim and repurposing it. Cute. And so this is what she calls a Japanese knot bag. And so these are pretty cool. They are, one, they're reversible. So if you want the colorful side out, they're fully wow. reversible. She even has a pocket there. And then the other thing that I think is so neat about this is you put the long handle through the short handle and then it's closed and it's your little wrist bag. Okay. And she's made a long one too for people that want it yeah. over the shoulder. I like hands free. Those are amazing. Wow, so cool. Yeah. Did she come up with this design herself, or has she seen something and then, or, it, you know, are you going to find this anywhere else? Well, since it was called a Japanese knot bag, yeah. I'm assuming that she's at least inspired by, by looking something. at another yeah. pattern. Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. That's neat. Neat. Yeah. This is Glenda. She ha is, uh, she, her business is Little Dipper Crafts. Her big thing, you'll see some of these say sample only, her big thing is actually craft parties. Ah. And so she has some items done that people can purchase, but her big thing is letting you do it. Yeah. So she puts a selection of patterns out, either every two weeks or once a month, depending on what the situation, and they tend to be 
uh, holiday related, mm -hmm. but they don't mm -hmm. have to be. Sometimes they're family. Mm -hmm. um, so she'll put them out and you say what you want. And this woman, like, she doesn't make everybody do the same thing. You have like a dozen patterns. Wow. And so everybody might pick something different. She gets all the pieces ready and then you go to her heated shop and wow. you can paint and apply and get everything put together. So fun. So fun. Very cute. I mean, because people love that. That's a fun activity, but then you have to get all the stuff together. Right. Yeah. So if you don't want to buy all the supplies, she has the supplies. Yeah. Or if you, if you, but if you want to make it yourself, yeah. she has it. If you don't want to make it yourself, she'll get it done for you. It's either way, best of both worlds, really. Love that. What a great idea. She's making some Halloween inspired gnomes for me right oh. now. Because while I would love to have the time to make it, part <laughs> of me is just like, you just do it. Yeah. I like, I call it making it with my own money. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my ladies Beautiful. from Ashton. Oh, I know a lot of wing. I love her. Yes, this is Carla. And she only has a small selection of what mm -hmm. she makes here. But she does. she does a lot with spoons. Yes, she does yes. a lot with the vintage silverware. Yes. And so she has sterling silver rings. She has silver plated rings. She has pendants, hair clips, money clips. Most of it is jewelry, but not all of it. We have some crosses and keychains and some other oh, items of hers yeah. as well. She also does custom orders. Uh, she can resize things easily. I just, I like her stuff. And yeah, one beautiful. thing that's really neat about all of her pieces, she knows the name and the year of every piece of silverware wow. that she has out there. That is amazing. It's beautiful. And it's on, I mean, it's on her tag, so yeah. you can know too. Or if so you cool. have a piece that you want her to work with. There's a lot of people that have never gotten into, if you, understanding when you buy something, that you're buying something long-term and understanding behind it. Mm -hmm. That is something you really need to have a story to tell about, you know, because you go to anywhere, you go into, you know, Target or you go into Dillard, you're going to buy something. You don't know anything other than I bought this. At these, how many things, these are stories mm -hmm. behind. I love that. I love that. Yes. This gal is Samantha. She has, her name is Long. It's the Crazy Creative Vinyl Lady. <laughs> she started with vinyl, cutting custom vinyl stickers, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. she still does that. But she got into working with glass. And what she does is she uses her vinyl to block out part of the glass, and then she has a sandblaster. Oh, oh my goodness. So there's no chemicals involved, and you can reuse that sandblasting medium over and over and over. Wow. So it's a little friendlier. But she has these pieces. So she has the, the glassware, magnets, coasters. Well, these. I love all the Idaho. If you're looking, it's sometimes you want an Idaho gift mm -hmm. or an Idaho piece. And I love all the idea of the, the tumblers or the mugs. The Idaho stuff is really neat. Oh, I love that. Yes. And this... A, l a number of people cute. that make things like Halloween. It's fun to kind of let go mm -hmm, into Halloween, mm -hmm. and she's brought some really Halloween neat. pieces in. I love that. Happy Halloween, witches. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Beautiful. Oh, and more jewelry. That's my favorite thing. Yes. Yeah, so there's, I'm going to step back here because it's a little easier for me on this one. So there's a couple jewelers in here. One is Sylvia Medina Jewelry. Mm -hmm. She's a, she, this gal, she keeps herself busy because I'm going to show you another project that she has in here. But this is her jewelry. She started out as a student of mine and she is gone on. She was Beautiful. already doing jewelry, but she wanted to learn silversmithing. So wow. she and I worked together for many years um, and we still talk. We still, yeah. well. We did hang out. Yeah. Now it's we both have our own studios on our own properties, but Beautiful she does things. the silversmithing. One of her specialties is turquoise. Mm. She gets the turquoise direct out of Arizona and makes turquoise pieces. There's a couple here, but then around the corner, mm -hmm. and it's right behind us here, mm -hmm. is oh. the Green Kids Club. We lost a panda. Yeah. Oh, so the Green Kids Club is another of Sylvia's projects, and 
it's she writes the stories and then has them illustrated. You can see one here that's about Grizzly 399 mm. that came out this year. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yep. And she has pictures of the mom with her four cubs uh -huh. in the book as well oh. as it being illustrated. But the Green Kids stories, they have um, a conservation tail to mm -hmm, them mm -hmm. and so she she has I don't know how many more than 20 she has a number of books too so she has the books and then the critters that go with them and how fun is that really neat very creative so around around the corner is the green kids club and oh. so she also has more of her jewelry there I mean all of us have more than what's in right, here but right right yes oh and I this keep is, going. Yeah. This is, we kind of went back and forth, but yeah. this is a gentleman. His name is Larry Wise, and he does what I think is so impressive, is he does this work by hand. This is not laser cut. Oh. This is by hand. He drills, he draws his pattern, he draws his pattern, and he pierces each separate opening and then threads the saw in and hand saws this. Wow. It's with a scroll saw, but you still yeah. have to re-thread it every time. Yeah. And his will look, I mean, his looks like like it's done on a laser. Yeah. You I, have I thought it was laser the, cut. Yeah, you have these light switch plate covers, and they look... Okay, these are two different animals, but when you have the same animal, they look. Yeah, they have a little same. different. Oh, they look the same even though he's hand done them. Yes, he wow. has mad skills. And these are neat. I mean, if you've got a house or a basement and you're kind of go for the cabin theme, what a fun idea that would be. And you don't need it on every light switch. You put yeah. it on a couple, yeah. a couple that are well seen. Yeah. And he'll custom though, customize those too because he has some that are for the wide switches mm -hmm, and the small mm -hmm. switches. And so really he. Great. He customizes that, and he has some of these bigger art pieces. I mean, I I do the same piercing on some of my metal work, so I have an idea of the work that goes into yeah. it. It's not it's not an overnight thing. Beautiful, it's beautiful. Wow, what are these yeah. little guys? So these, so Pollyanna Gifts is a mother daughter group, and so the mother actually will make these. These are clay. Oh. And so she hand makes all the, the clay figures and then hand paints them. And I believe she's in her 80s and this is just something she wow. enjoys doing. And she has the turtles and lizards and these gnomes are just adorable. So fun. So cute. And then the, the daughter, she actually is working on some of these animal <gasps> silhouettes. Oh, look at that. And so she'll do custom pets and a lot of this jewelry is vintage and repurposed jewelry and most of it has been gifted to her to then create, create. with. So her mm -hmm. mom actually cuts out the silhouettes because her mom loves doing that mm -hmm. and the the daughter then decorates them and so she'll do custom with colors or custom uh, breeds. You, I love how neat so you've got like a bulldog and you've got a cocker spaniel and a poodle that's so neat what a fun neat a gift unique and thoughtful gift for someone who's a pet lover yeah and if you look at this this still has like it's plastic on it because uh -huh. the idea with when she frames them is that you can take it out put whatever color you want behind the animal and kind of make it go into uh, your space yeah so if you wanted to add a color to this canvas and then Put so the cat cool. back. Oh, neat. Yeah. Very cool. I've never seen anything like that before. So while we're while we're up this way, this is another jeweler. His name is Robert, Robert Landauer, and he finds these really high quality gemstone gemstones and pulls them Beautiful. together. He also has some rings, um, but they're not they're not in the shop yet. Mm -hmm. But yep, he has Beautiful. these pieces. Those are beautiful stones. They are. And like this one's sapphire, this one's spinel. I write the name so that I can tell people yeah. this is rhodochrosite. Ah. Even beautiful. a jeweler forgets stone names sometimes. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful things. And this is this is Kathy si Simons. Forgive me, Kathy, if I mispronounced your name again. I tried. <laughs> Uh, she does this bead weaving, wow. and what I find 
even more cool about her bead weaving designs is she has been published in several beading magazines for making up her own patterns. Ah. So she has, she makes them and tests them and has nice quality, nice quality pieces. Beautiful. This last jeweler, I'm checking, I think it is, I think it's my last jeweler. <laughs> this is a husband and wife. It's sold under Color by Nature. And their specialty is Spencer Opal. Oh. So Spencer Opal is Idaho Opal. Mm -hmm. So they'll go and collect the opal, and then they actually make their own cabs, uh, cabochons. And the cabochon is the unset stone. Mm. Uh, so they'll actually collect the Spencer Opal and set it. So their specialty is opal, although they like all stones. Mm -hmm. And I actually go to her for custom cut stones. Uh-huh. Yeah. If you don't know about Idaho, Idaho is the largest collection of natural opal in the world, I believe, that you can find the most natural opal. I think my nephew did a report on it, something like that. I, I bet you that's true. Yeah. But one thing to think about is not all opal has the fiery flash. Ah. You can have a common opal too, which is another really pretty stone, but it doesn't have that fiery flash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, opal's a beautiful stone. Yes. Yeah, really neat. Oh, mm -hmm. neat. Yes. So, this is H. Rose Designs. So she does her work digitally. It's digital art. Oh. And then when she prints it out, she then foils it. And so this is her original art that then has been foiled. So these are prints. She has a few stickers, the ever popular dragon. Oh yes, yes, beautiful. Kind of a holographic mm -hmm. stickers and bookmarks. She does custom work with if people want a name or a color or a theme. Mm -hmm. And she's currently working on holographic um, decals because oh. a number of people have asked to have her designs. They're like, this is great. Uh -huh. How do I put it on my car? I'm like, well, yeah. this is a print, yeah. but she's working on it. She's got a couple testers going out because she wants to make sure she gives a good product. Yeah. Well, I imagine these are so intricate, beautiful, that to have, you know, a, a sticker would be hard to, I mean, that's beautiful stuff. Wow, neat. Well, a lot of people like putting decals on their vehicles, so yes. you want a weather, yep. you want a weather appropriate one. Yes. So this is another gal. Her name's Aubrey, Aubrey's Elements. She goes back and forth between painting. You can see some small paintings on her magnets, but she'll do bigger paintings. Mm -hmm. um, like these stickers are some of her paintings. I actually, I actually bought this one. I couldn't oh. stand it, it was so pretty. So this one started out as a paint pour, and then she accented it to get the monarch and the moon. Huh. And it's not, I mean, it's like a, eight by 10, um, but I really liked it. So she goes back and forth between painting and this crystal and wire wrapping. She has a lot of new designs that are coming out with crescent moons, oh, but mm -hmm. they're selling before they get to the shop. Uh-huh, yeah. But she actually collects crystal and she cuts her own stone as well. A number of these crystals have been purchased because if you go out and hunt your own crystal, especially for somebody that rock hounds, uh -huh. it's very hard to then release that crystal to somebody ah. else. So she's trying to put some of her work in, but it tends to be some of her agate slabs and things like that mm -hmm. when she does her pieces. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she's got, she's got a number, ornaments, um, sun catchers. Beautiful, I mean, these are, the wire on it is so pretty. Beautiful, I love that coppery wire. Very pretty. Yeah, and so that is, she does. She works in solid copper and then the natural gemstones. Wow. I mean, this is amazing. I mean, th th all of these art, all of these artisans are here locally. Mm -hmm. What a great idea to have them all together. Yeah. 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 I think one of my last people is right here. I got my first author. Oh. And so these are some of her coloring books. And so they're, they're some of her artwork for in coloring books, but she's got two poetry books being printed and on their way. Mm -hmm. And her poetry books have some of her art in it too. So she's one of the first authors that have come in. Very cool, beautiful. Ah, yeah. this is amazing, amazing. Hannah, this is so fun. Okay, so tell us, tell everybody your hours and so if they wanna come into the shop. We are, current hours are Tuesday through Saturday. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tuesday through Thursday is 1 to 5. Friday we went a little later, so it's 1 to 6. Mm -hmm. And Saturday we have 10 to 4. 
So we have those hours posted on Facebook and we have mm -hmm. them posted on our door. And uh, I'm saying current hours because we're looking at doing a late Monday for oh. those people who can't come in during the day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, makes sense. Yes. Oh, what a great idea. Amazing. This is beautiful. Thank you for showing us all around. Because then what's nice is if you come in, you kind of have an idea what's in. I mean, there's so many mm -hmm. stories, so many neat stories in here. Super fun. You guys, amazing. Get down here. Okay, so it is um, Handmade Idaho Shop because there is Handmade Idaho, which is in Boise, so don't get that confused. <laughs> the Handmade Idaho Shop down here on Park Avenue, 430, 430 Park Avenue. Come down, enjoy, have a great lunch down in um, Peru's and come down and take a look at the shop. This is some really, really neat things, some really great gift ideas down here. Really awesome. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you. Okay, you guys, get down and see it. This has been Jessica Carton, your nosy neighbor, keeping you in the know. The nosy neighbors, keeping you in the know. Nosy, nosy neighbors, neighbors, keeping you in the know. Hey guys, we're here with the nosy neighbors, and we're keeping you in, in the, the know. know. The nosy neighbors, keeping you in the know. Nosy neighbors, keeping you in the know. So the nosy neighbors, keeping you in the know. The nosy neighbors, keeping you in the know. The nosy neighbors are going to keep you in, in the, the know. know.